Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. And I want to talk to you guys today about where you will be in six months. Six months. Sometimes that feels long. Sometimes that feels short. It depends on what you're talking about and what you're trying to do. See, most of us don't take the time to think about where we'll be in six months if nothing changes. Sometimes we just don't take the time. In our fast-paced society these days, we're constantly bombarded with new shiny objects and things we should be doing and look over here and buy this product and come to this destination and watch this conference and do this business. And But do we ever slow down enough to think about where we want to be rather than where the world is telling us we should be in a certain time? Six months. Just want you to think about that. Six months. Half a year. Approximately 182 days. Six months. I mean, what can you really do in, in six months? Um, it depends on what you look at. There's a lot of different things we could do in a shorter period of time, but six months. Now, today is actually a special day. Today is my half birthday, and six months ago today... I received a gift that I absolutely loved. It was such a personal thing. This person knew um, me and what I was into and my passions and excited. And it's just, it's something on my bucket list and I really wanted and I could not wait to show this gift off. And I was so happy to receive it. But there was a problem. I couldn't show it off. I couldn't use it. I couldn't display it. I couldn't wear it because you see, it was an award an accolade, a trophy, if you will, that I had not yet earned. Although this person is amazing and knows me well and had great intentions, it, it actually had so much more meaning than, than we would have ever thought. See, I hadn't earned it yet. It wasn't true yet. Now, I'm going to show this because obviously this is YouTube and if the podcast listeners, you're going to have to jump over to the YouTube to see this. Otherwise, just close your eyes, uh, not if you're driving, of course, and visualize this thing. So um, this I'm going to show you, podcast listeners can't see it, is this big, giant, gold, ridiculous, flavor flave, gold chain, medallion style size of my head. And it says cornhole champion on it. And of course, I was so excited to see this for my YouTube fans. This is what it is. And yes, I am putting this on. You know why? I'll tell you why in a story. Um, but it says cornhole champion on it, right? <laughs> but the reality was at that day and time, six months ago, that was not my truth. That was not my reality. It was a bucket list item that I wanted to check off. I wanted to be eventually someday a cornhole champion, but I was not yet. See, I'm passionate about it. We play in the backyard. We liked it. We have a good time, but it wasn't true yet. So as much as I love this gift, I'm like, I can receive this gift and I have it. And now it's been my motivation because that's not true about me yet. It wasn't true about me yet. Six months ago. Owning it, having it right there, knowing I could claim it at any moment helped me move closer to that goal. This Having this reward, this trophy, this title, this champion that I am not yet, <laughs> increased my desire to like grasp that which was not yet mine. It kind of motivated me to work a little bit harder, practice a little more, and keep my focus longer because I knew that that thing, that championship, that um, title could eventually be mine. Now, I got a little closer but to that moment many times, but never actually got there yet. You see, there's this funny thing about having a reward that maybe you have not yet earned. Um, I don't know if you've heard stories about things like lottery winners or, uh, you know, people, you know, there's stories all about people like being born with silver spoons in their mouth or things like that. And they don't know the value of something because they haven't earned it. Well, there's definitely some truth to that. But there also can be some motivation for that. Because what if someone told you that your reward was guaranteed? They gave it to you already. 
And they just said, you just can't have this. Here it is. Here's this award. Here's this accolade, this title, this this whatever benefit you're looking for in what you're doing. It's already yours and actually put it in front of you. You just can't touch it or have it until you have fully done the work and earned it. Would that change how you think about things? Would that change how you approach the tasks and the work that you have to do in order to actually earn that and claim that title for yourself? You can get close many times. You can go around the block many times. You could give up. But truly just give yourself a minute to think about what benefit or reward or what is it that you're working towards right now that that if you were guaranteed to have that, what would stop you? What would motivate you? What would move you forward to that? Would you become a little bit more relaxed thinking, oh, it's just right there. I can grab it any time. I'm just not ready yet. Or would it motivate you to be like, it's right there. If I just work a little bit more, if I just do this and that and practice and sacrifice and become disciplined, it'll be right there. I can just grab it. I can almost touch it. I can actually touch it right now if I want it. Would that change something for you? So let's just think about it. Two weeks ago on a Friday night, I was at a blind draw. And I don't know if you know what, know what a blind draw is, that's what I'll tell you. In the cornhole world, when you go like to places that have, you know, tournaments and different things, um, be, just to make it all pretty fair, you get put in a hat with a bunch of other people and you pick your partner to play with. Um, it's a blind draw. So they draw lames blind and they partner you with people you don't know and you just play. You play your best and it makes it so that it's not, you know, super stacked teams. There's other times where you bring your own partner partner and it's a bring your own partner type tournament or you have doubles and you have your partner um, and that's your steady partner. But for a blind draw, it just kind of evens the playing field because there's people that are really good and really bad and you don't want everyone really good always winning. So they just kind of divide everybody up and um, they do a blind kind of random drawing to see who your partner is. So I went to a Friday night blind draw. We usually do um, have been for the past couple months going uh, once every other week or so. I was just super relaxed. I got my blind draw partner and we won our first match, barely. <laughs> um, we went on to play six straight games undefeated and finally, <laughs> in two weeks shy of six months, I got to claim this, this cornhole champion. I was number one finally, I finally earned the right to wear this and claim this trophy and, and claim myself as a champion. I've actually never been a champion before. I've never been a number one at anything. <laughs> so I've barely even won raffle in my life. So this is really pretty cool um, for me to think about. Never been number one. But the reality is, is that even six months ago when I received this award that I knew I could not authentically claim yet. That's what I kept saying. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until I get to actually wear this, claim this, have this title be actually my own. It gave me motivation to work for it because it was already there. I already just got this, this gift, but it was also... Um, something I was working towards. It's like somebody setting the reward in front of you already and saying, all you have to do is walk towards it. All you have to do is complete the steps and you can claim this. It's already here. It's not some hidden thing. It's right in front of you. I believed it was possible for me. And so I kept moving towards it. That's the question I have for you. The, the reward, the benefit that you're seeking, whether it's in business or life or a relationship or a championship or some hobby that you're, what, do you believe that the final reward, that the trophy, that the championship, that the title, that the dollars in the bank with your business, do you believe that it's possible? Do you believe that that reward is even something that you can claim? Six, six months. Six months ago, I never have played cornhole in public. I played friendly backyard games. I was actually really terrible the very first time I went to play in someone else's backyard. That was a, it was kind of a backyard tournament thing. So I didn't consider that really public. I was so bad and so embarrassed because I decided to even enter to begin with with my husband. It was mostly like friends and family. 
you know, um, I had never played publicly, paid money to join a tournament and play publicly in front of other people for them to laugh at me and make fun of me. Not that they were really, but that's what my assumption was. <laughs> Six months ago, I joined a league with my husband and we played once a week, played my first real tournament and then another lost, lost, lost. But I gained experience and I learned and I learned the standards of the game and I got closer and closer to maybe winning, maybe winning one. I've made some new friends. I've connected with some great people and I learned more about the sport. Six months. Now, six months ago, I'm not sure you could have told me I could ever be a champion and that would have claimed that. I almost laughed when I saw this champion medallion trophy thing that I got. I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome, but it's not for me because I'm not that, <laughs> not that yet, right? Six months ago, six months. See, the thing is, is that now, less than six months ago, just a couple weeks shy, we'll just call it six months, right? I can actually claim that now. I am passionate about this game and how has it changed my life. It changed my marriage and my business. Now, I don't say all of this stuff for accolades or for bragging rights or for you guys all to pat me on the back, right? It's motivation and proof for you that what you do right now, today, will have future results. The results are up to you. The results are about the work that you put in today. Because I didn't one day show up at a blind draw and play a tournament with a partner I had never met and went six games undefeated. That didn't just happen. It was work. It was, it was being diligent in practice. It had, the, that was the result of the six months previous of doing the work. The proof is that if you do the work, the results will come. And if you don't, you will have results. They just won't be the results that you hope for. Today, six months, I didn't know anybody really that played cornhole outside of my family. But today, I now carry 10 cornhole products in my Amazon store. I have six private label cornhole products and more on the way. I have two exclusive brand contracts to be their sole representation on Amazon for this sport. So when I say that cornhole changed my life, I'm not kidding. It didn't just change my hobbies and my free time and give me uh, something to do with my husband every single day, every night uh, on weekends that we really enjoy in each other's company. It's so much more because the results come from the work. Six months. Six months. Seems long or seems short. Depends on how you look at it. Now, what if I gave you the reward that you've been dying to achieve? The, the trophy, the accolade, the title, the money. Maybe it's breaking six figures online or in your pocket. Maybe it's paying off all of your debt. What if it's a home run product that leads to life-changing circumstances for you? But what if I already told you that it was already yours? It's already yours. What if today is your half birthday and I gave you a gift now? And I said, in six months, if you do X, Y, Z, this will be yours. How much more motivated will you be to walk towards that knowing, hey, it's already mine. I just have to take these steps and follow this path and continue doing what I'm doing. And I can claim that. What if I just told you that there was an action step plan you could follow and some of this is just, it's just going to be yours. But what if I said it's going to be kind of difficult? Some of the steps are going to seem silly, unreasonable, embarrassing, hard, frustrated. But it won't matter because if you do the things, you'll have the reward. You'll have the result that you want. It's not going to be easy, but there is a path to follow. There are steps you can take and things you can do, 
and action steps to move forward towards that. And if you're willing to be embarrassed, maybe be rejected, maybe look silly, maybe um, just any of these things. It's going to be hard. You're going to be frustrated at times. You're going to want to pull your hair out. You're going to want to quit and give up a couple times. But if you hang in there, this re- result, this reward will be yours. Guaranteed. Okay? Now, nothing's guaranteed. So, of course, I'm not going to say that. This, this cornhole champion was never guaranteed for me. Never. You never know what can happen. You can't predict the future, right? Everyone says that. Oh, you can't guarantee anything. Yes, but, but what if just the idea of having the trophy, the reward, the thing ahead of time with the steps to take to get there? This can be yours if you do X, Y, Z. Six months. Six months. It's going to go by whether you like it or not. The time is going to go by. 182 days, six months, whatever you want to call it. I didn't count the minutes because, you know, who has time for that? But it's going to go by. Unless we die, which then that means the end for us, right? The six months is going to go by. What would you attempt if you knew the results were going to come? What if you, what would you attempt if you knew you couldn't fail? Even with the little moments of failures. You guys, you know, I wish I, I I don't count losses. I don't count any of those things like that. I love data and I like um, self-improvement. And that's something I do. Um, Even in my cornhole game, I keep my numbers and stats so that I can slightly improve. Even 1% improvement over time is huge, huge. 18 months ago, I could not land but one bag on a board. And now... I can call myself a champion. Six months, y'all. I mean, what would you keep working on if you already knew and believed the results were yours? They're already there. You just can't reach out to them yet because you have to take a couple more steps. But you can see it. You can view it. You know it's there. What if I put $100,000 in cold, hard cash in a see-through glass box on your desk every day and said, if you take these steps, this will be yours. Would that not motivate you to be like, there it is. There's my reward. That's what I've been working for. That's what I want. That's what I need. What do I need to do to get there? Oh, follow these steps. Be consistent. Would you keep working on it knowing? No, there's no deadline. The six months is just just kind of a fun number because it happened within that time. And it happens to be six months from the day of today when I received this. But when I was thinking about, gosh, a lot can happen in six months if you do the work, if you make a decision to go after whatever it is you want. And then despite all of the emotions and the setbacks and everything else that you keep moving towards it, no matter how big or small. So this six month thing is just subjective. It's it's relative to whatever you want it to be. But what if that reward is just sitting there and all you have to do is take the action steps to get there? Because guys, it is not harder than that. It's not. It's doing the work. You maybe you've given yourself false timelines or self-imposed deadlines that you've given yourself that well, if I don't reach this in six months, then I guess I'm a failure and I have to move on. No, those are self-imposed. What about the celebration? The reward is actually the process. It's the process. It's the process that took all of these things to that. You see, the thing about it is you can't deposit excuses, regrets, or list of to-dos that were never done. You can deposit what you earn, and we earn by doing the work. The passion and the motivation surrounding the benefit that you intend to gain from your pursuits drives us to do the work. See, this this championship thing or whatever reward it is that you're searching for, and this is just a bucket list item for me. It's not... um, you know, it's not some lifetime achievement or something that I, you know, hear bragging about. But it's the only thing left for you really to do is to decide what reward you want, what benefit, what accolade, what whatever it is that you are chasing. We're all chasing something, just so you know, in case you hadn't noticed. 
Maybe it's peace. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's security. Maybe it is, um, I don't know what it is for you. But you have to decide what you want and do the work. I did the work. It didn't just happen. I didn't just wake up one day and win the blind draw one time. It didn't just happen. I didn't get these contracts um, just out of the blue. They didn't come knocking on my door. I'm nobody. They don't know me. I made an offer to them and say, I am passionate about cornhole and I would love to bring your products to Amazon. I got turned down many times. There were 53 companies that I could have gone after for this particular product. I got turned down. I got ghosted. I got ignored. I got rejected. I even got yelled at. Like, how dare you ask such a thing? But I continued doing the work knowing that the results would come eventually. That's the key word too, eventually. Six months is a great time. And I put this timeline on there because that's what happened in my six months. But what if it's a year? So what if it's a year? If you know that you can claim that reward eventually, will you not do the work? So let me leave you with this. What do you want in six months from now, in a year from now? Did you know that in six months it's going to be the beginning or the mid Q4? It's going to be right at the beginning of Q4. We all as Amazon sellers and business owners love Q4. It's usually the biggest time of year where we sell so much stuff and it's a really profitable time of year for business. What do you want for Q4? And what are you going to do today so that you get that result? Because today is when we get the results. We don't just all of a sudden wake up in Q4 and have a bunch of profit on the table. We got to do the work now. What would change in your life? If you had the reward, the benefit, the money, the security, the financial peace, whatever it is you're looking for, you already had it. So now go do the work because you can have it. Do the work with confidence, knowing, believing that it's all going to come together. Do the work and leave it all on the table. No regrets. No woulda, coulda, shoulda, what if. In the end, the reality is, it's the process of doing the work that makes us better, happier, and more confident people. This silly plastic medallion here, it means nothing in and of itself. It's what it represents that makes it priceless, priceless to me. It's what it represents. It's what you have to become in order to claim it. You have to have determination and sacrifice. You have to work hard. I'm sorry to break it to you. It's just part of life. You have to have some discipline. You also have to have fun. You have to enjoy it because what's it worth if you worked so hard and spent all of your time, money, and energy, and you got this reward and you're like, ugh, that wasn't worth it. It wasn't what I wanted. You know, thinking about what it represents. You have to overcome obstacles. You have to face fear and rejection and maybe embarrassment. It may be a little heckling and people not believing in you. But the process is what shapes us into better people. This was shaping me. All of these steps, all of the practice and the losing and showing up and losing again and making some friends and being rejected and just feeling like I don't, I don't know if I fit in this cornhole world. It was shaping me into a better person the whole time and I didn't even know it. My reward wasn't some plastic useless trophy. It was lifelong skills that I learned along the way that can never be taken away from me. That's what you're after. That's the, the true reward. The true trophy, I guess, is the character that you build in yourself while working towards something that you desire and want. And guess what? You don't have to have permission. You don't have to have someone's permission to pursue whatever you want, whether it's a million dollar business or writing a book or being a YouTube star or literally living in a yurt off the grid. Whatever it is that you want, you don't need permission. All you need is a belief that it's possible for you and enough determination every day to do the work. Because no matter 
when you get the result, it means so much more, not because of the item, because of the thing, because of the arrival, but because of who you had to become in order to face those challenges and overcome them. Six months. What are you going to do with yours? Who are you going to become in the next six months? Y'all, I know you could be anywhere else listening to any other thing, doing any other thing. I don't take that for granted. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. If this podcast has motivated you, helped you, encouraged you, please leave a review and share it with someone else. Let them know you heard this episode and that you loved it and it's something that other people should listen to. That is your best way that you can compliment me and this podcast is to share it with other people. Thank you guys for listening. I pray that the next six months that you have is going to be your best yet. And I can't wait to celebrate those results with you. See you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.